Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to Eden's Fun Crochet. I'm Eden, and thank you for clicking on my on my video today. Um, so first, I want to talk about this hat. I've had this hat for years, but I never wear it because a it's a little bold, and two, my hair is always been really short, and so. It doesn't look that good and so I put it in a ponytail and my bangs always fall out but with the hat you can't tell because it's like holding them in and so I put the ponytail through like the back of my hat and now I get to wear it and it goes with pretty much everything I wear because I own a lot of red um yeah so that's my outfit for today um Let's talk about finished objects. I've been crocheting a lot this week. I've been putting like everything else I do on hold. I need to learn how to balance my life because last week I didn't crochet hardly anything and this week I crocheted like everything. So yeah. Um, but I did some things. So last week I showed you a pair of socks that I made. They're like tall socks so like mid calf and then I had extra yarn and because I didn't follow pattern there were some things that I wanted to change so I made some new socks so these are just ankle socks I did a different heel for them which I like a lot better and then I did the toes the same color um to make it match a little better um so these are my socks that I made um, I made both of them. You probably um, already saw them on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go check me out at Eden's Fun Crochet. Um, and then these beautiful leg warmers. So I talked about these a little bit last time. Um, I had started this about a year ago. That sounds right. About a year ago. And... I totally was just messing around and I came up with this beautiful pattern. It's kind of hard to see, but because I did half double crochets in the back loops, front loops, I don't know, one or the other, it like comes up with this like braid ridge, which I think is super cool. So, and these beautiful colors, and then I um, washed it with conditioner and so it's like super soft. And so those are washed and blocked and ready to go. Um, and then I did this one this week. Um, I The decreasing is a little bit different, but it's still beautiful. Um, I have a tutorial up for that um, if you want to check it out because they're so beautiful. Um, I used Red Hearts Stripe yarn so in the colorway favorite stripe so if you want this beautiful yarn you can go check it out um I usually buy yarn with an intention of what I'm going to use it for except if like people give it to me which is most of my stash um but this yarn I was like I just need it I just need it I just need it so I bought it with no idea what I was going to do for it and then I came up with these beautiful leg warmers. See? Never mind. Okay. And then, you've seen this before, too. But this is a baby blanket. I'm not sure what it was originally supposed to be, but it is a baby blanket now. Um, as if you are returning, you already know this, but if you're not returning, if you're new, um, which you probably are because this is, like, my fifth, video? I don't know. I think this is number five. Anyway, so I have all this stuff that this lady gave me, this old lady, um, the, like half finished projects and things. Most of it is crocheted, but some of it is knitted. Um, this was knitted and it was still on the hooks. I mean, on the needles. I say that every time. <laughs> anyway, it was on the needles and so I had to like YouTube had a cast off and I did a border. It took me forever to actually do it, but I did it. 
I did a three row border um, using this color and then also a blue, a darker blue. Because this is kind of like a greenish blue and this is like a blue blue. So I made this cute little baby blanket. Um, I was going to give it to my sister because she just had a baby. But my mom gave her a crocheted blanket that someone else had made. So I was like, I'll save this for someone else because she doesn't need two crochet baby blankets. Um, so that's that. And then, so those are my finished objects, okay? And then for my whips. So Jada in Stitches, she does, um, every year she does a calendar blanket. And every year I'm like, next year I'm going to do it. Next year. And then I never do it, but this year, I'm doing it. Um, I did redo the January square because I'm doing it in a with a larger hook size than she is. And so I did um, my chains too tight. And it was just on one square because that's the only square you do the chains. Because you work like up the middle and then you work the sides to get it going in the different directions like this so you like work up in the middle and then you work from here this way and so you only have one row of chains and it, I did it too tight and so it was like all squished I think I still have it actually and this is after blocking and what is it right here it's still like because this like it all has like a stretch to it all of them do, except where I did the chains and there's no stretch to it. And this is after blocking, mind you, like you can still kind of see how it's tighter right there. So my mom was like, it's fine. Cause this is for her, for her birthday. Um, and she's like, it's fine. Like, don't worry about it. Once you put the border on, it will be fine. But it's just, it's just bothering me too much. So I redid it. And then I have the other ones too. I just did the one for April and then I hadn't put the border on any of them she does a one row border but I want my blanket to be bigger that's why I'm using a bigger hook size too so I'm doing I like measured it out and I don't know what border she's planning on doing but I'm gonna do a wider border um doesn't matter what she does I'm gonna probably do like a six row four five row border I think is what I decided five row border um and so I like measured it out and everything and I needed like three inches between each square and then I was thinking I don't know why I had it in my head that I needed the border on one square to be three inches and so I was like measuring it as I went and then I had to like undo half of it because I forgot that you like put them together and so you only need one and a half inches on each square because then that will make it three inches together so Anyway, so I did a two row border instead of a one row border like she did. But so I have those four done. So I only, so I did two squares and four borders. And then, so now when I do next month, I can go ahead and do the border on it and I don't have to wait. Cause knowing me, I'm gonna wait to the end of the year and then I'm gonna be like, I don't wanna put a border on 12 squares. And so it's just gonna be too much work. So that was that blanket. I have made blankets in the past, but I tend to do more smaller projects. So I think it's cool that I'm doing like all these blankets because I'm doing so many of them right now. Um, so this I mentioned in my very first podcast and then I stopped talking about it because um, I haven't worked on it. It is upside down. But so this blanket, actually, I don't think it was upside down. But it doesn't matter. So this blanket was actually, I didn't do it. It was also from the old lady, but she had three of the rows not sewn on yet. But then, um, and it, they're not just sewing on. She has this row in between that she does. So it's like this row and then a white and then this row. And so these are the pieces that I have. I have one left. I already put two on. 
um, but that has the white row in between, which she doesn't have done. Um, and I wasn't sure exactly how to do it. It's a mile a minute kind of blanket, and I've never done one, so I was like kind of confused on how to do it. Um, I could have like Googled it or whatever, but she did have the pattern for it. It's um, by Annie. Annie Attic, Annie's Attic. It's a paid for pattern. You can see the price in the corner. So, but on here, it doesn't have the in-between rows. It's just these that you put together. But she, the lady who crocheted this has the in-between rows. And so, um, so I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. But I looked at it and I figured it out. So what she did is she did this white part and then one row of the border um, in the white and then she didn't do the rest of the border. And so if you look at this, you can see how it's like a little bit wider. That's a little bit wider than this far because she does one row of the border in the white. So, and then she does it a bit shorter too, so that it has like this like wonky um, border. Um, so I figured that out. So I did two of them already and already sewn them on and then I sewed on two of the, um, the ones with the borders. And then I have one left. So I'm gonna do one white and then this and then I have a bunch of this color, which kind of matches this on camera. This looks way more orange, but um, the only difference is this is a little bit more shiny. Um, I might Yeah, I don't know yet, but I'm thinking because there's also some with like this brown in it and I have that brown up there, so I might do that. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to do a border all the way around the whole blanket. Um, I will probably use, because um, this doesn't have a border around it. You just sew them together and it's done. So I'm probably going to check out. Um, what's her name? Krista from The Secret Yarnery. Because um, she has a mile a minute blanket on her YouTube channel. Want to meet my dog? This is Jingles. She's my puppy. Um, so that is one blanket. And then I brought this up a couple of times. So this started out as a blanket. And then I was going to make it into a cardigan. And then I decided to make it into a blanket again. <laughs> so I started putting it together as a blanket. Like I got one square done and then I was like, no, I'm making all these blankets. I don't need another one. And then I started making it into a cardigan and I had a bunch of squares put together. Not a bunch, like 10. And then, <coughs> quit. And then... I decided I did want to turn it into a blanket and then I could just have a whole bunch of blankets and anyway and I didn't quite I didn't like the way that I was doing the border and so now I'm covering all the squares in the sparkly white um the Karen cuddle soft and the color white so I'm doing that it is a bit of an older yarn. You can tell by like the packaging. But yeah, so I have the borders. I have several of them done, but I'm still working on them. So this is gonna take a while. I am not sure if you heard that, but my mom babysits and so they're like little kids running around the place. Um, right now she's only babysitting for one family because of the whole like coronavirus she doesn't want to spread germs everywhere and the mom works at a grocery store and so like 
her kids have to go somewhere. I mean, it's not ideal, but like we're only interacting with them, not like everybody. So don't freak out. Um, so yeah, um, that. There's something in here. Have I been using the wrong hook size? Anyway, and a pair of scissors. These are my left-handed scissors. Um, I couldn't find them. I was using my crappy red ones, but anyway, that's not important. So that is what I have been working on for this week. Um, it's like blanket city up in here. Cause I have the baby blanket and then I have this blanket and then I have this one that I'm working on. And then I have the one with the little granny squares. Wow. But yeah, so I, I'm really excited that I have so many finished objects, especially since I finished them so early on in the week. Cause I think I finished all three of these on like Monday and Tuesday and I always record on Monday. So it was like a Monday night and then like all day Tuesday, I was just like crocheting like crazy. Um, and I like put up a tutorial for this and I didn't put up a tutorial for this just cause I'm not absolutely in love with it. Um, I mean, I am like, they fit great, but like the way that they look and I did like a double crochet row and like, and they're thicker, they're more like slippers and socks cause I used wool yarn. So, but anyway, yeah. Um, so that's that. I am, I have so many things I want to start. And I was like looking at all my beautiful like yarn today. And I was like, I could, I have enough yarn with this color and like this color. I could make like a cute like 70s thing blanket. And then I was like, or um, I can, there's a blanket in the, in the TV show. Um, it totally just blinked from my head. What is it called? Big Bang Theory. There we go. There's a blanket that they have in that. And so I was thinking I could like make that blanket. And while I'm making it, I can binge watch all of it, all of the seasons. But then I was like, I'm not starting a new project uh, <laughs> or a new TV show because I'm watching like, um, cause I have Disney plus I'm watching all of the TV shows from my childhood. Like that's a Raven and stuff like that. Um, so I don't need more TV shows to watch and I don't need more things to crochet. And I have like this huge bucket full of like the stuff from the lady. Um, and I haven't even showed you half of this stuff cause I'm not working on all of it at the moment. Um, there's like more of these little squares, but like these have like the ridges and then there are some that are bigger and don't have the ridges. So like the design's a little bit different, but there's not as many of them. So I probably won't be able to make a blanket out of them, but I'll be able to make something. And then there's like this like Tunisian crochet one. So I thought it was Tunisian crochet. I think I might've talked about this already. I'm not sure, but it's like, it might've been Tunisian crochet. I'm not sure, but I bought, tun I bought hooks, but I, they weren't Tunisian hooks, they were just double sided hooks, but they were like different sizes. And so it's like, okay, never mind. And then I figured out that she, I don't think it's actually Tunisian crochet. It might be, but I figured out a way how to do it with just a regular crochet hook where you like work one row and then you work the other row together. I don't know how to explain it, but I think I figured it out. But I've only done like one row on it and that was forever ago when I first got it. So I do have a lot of things that I have ready to do. So I'm like restraining myself from doing new projects. Um, these don't count as a new project. So I was just using up the leftover yarn um, from the other socks. And I was still kind of like, it's like an extension of that sock project. Um, and then, which that sock project I started a year ago. So I had like one sock done and I didn't even have the brown. I brought, I bought the brown like two months ago um, from my little um, local yarn shop. Um, and then these I had started last year also. So I have all these things that like 
I have started or were started because I didn't start all of them, but I'm finishing things. This one I did start in February because um, that's when I got home. So I did two squares in February um, instead of just doing one a month because I was in California doing other things. And so I did start a little bit late on this, but so this is like one of the only projects I've actually started recently. Right? And that, I did that. That was a smaller project. But this one, so here's my thinking for this, okay? My mom's birthday is in February, okay? So if I crochet one square a month, that's 12 months, right? That's the whole year. And then I'm going to have to do the border on it. So I have all of January to do the border. And then I can give my mom the blanket for her birthday in the beginning of February. And her favorite color is yellow, but she also loves purple with yellow. Um, this actually isn't the first time I made something with these two colors for her. I made an apron the fall of 2018, I think, for her. Um, it's not the best thing ever. I was like, I mashed like four different um, patterns together and I was doing like the chevron while increasing, decreasing. Anyway, it's not the prettiest thing, but she wears it, but she'll wear anything. <laughs> so I thought that I could, and because it's for her, it's for her bed, which is a king size bed. And it's not going to be a king size blanket. King? Queen? I don't know the difference. But it's a big bed. It's just going to be like lay on top. It's not going to be one that like folds over the sides of the bed. So it's going to be like a fitted blanket. Um, but the pattern, not the pattern, the, well I guess it's sort of a pattern. But the like thing that I'm doing it with is a smaller blanket. So I'm using like I think it just calls for like a 5.5 5 hook and I'm using a 8 or size L on it. So it's like a pretty big hook and that's why it's like so lacy. Um, because I'm using such a big hook to make it bigger. And then I'm doing a two row border instead of one. And then I don't know what she's planning on doing for the actual like border for the whole thing. But I'm planning on doing a five row border at least. Um, probably like gray yellow, purple, yellow, gray. Um, that's the plan. Anyway, I'm like all over the place. I'm like talking about this blanket and then this blanket and then I'm talking about like my goals and then I'm talking about that blanket again. But anyway, yes, blankets. I'm really excited actually to like finish all of these and just have like blankets all out in front of me or like I love like the crochet aesthetic photos on like Pinterest and Instagram and stuff where it's just like you have just like a pile of like these crochet blankets and stuff and so <coughs> I'll probably like pull out all of the crochet blankets I've ever made when I'm done with all of these and just have like and take one of those like aesthetic photos um but yes so this blanket is almost done I just have the one row left and then the border um and then I'll be done with that one. So thank you very much for watching my crochet podcast. I have no idea what episode this is. Probably five, but I'll check. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, subscribed to my channel, please click the button and support me. Um, I'm actually one of those type of people who don't, who didn't subscribe I would like watch all their videos and then like because I am one of those people who like watches someone and then stops and then and so I'm like there's no point of subscribing just to unsubscribe because then it'll be sad that I unsubscribe to them um and so I like never subscribed to anything before um but that was a long time ago and now I like I'm more consistent with who I watch and so I'm like subscribing to more people. And then now that I'm a YouTuber, I'm like subscribing to everyone. <laughs> so I'm like, subscribe to me. <laughs> so anyway, that was a really long tangent. Actually, that was a short tangent. But anyway, I 
I'm gonna let you go now. Thank you for inviting me over and letting me into your home. And if you need quarantine um, stuff to watch, like stuff while you are quarantined to your home, um, which I know everyone is on the internet because I'm always home even before this whole thing. And I can tell that my internet is so much slower now because everyone is home. Before it just used to be in the evening when it was slow and like all day it was fine. Now, all day, every day, it's like the slowest thing ever. But anyway, if you need quarantine stuff, you can watch all my videos, all of my, I'm coming out every week. Once this is over, I'll probably, or get a job or something, I'll probably be doing it every two weeks, like most crochet podcasts. But right now, since I have all the time in the world to crochet, I'm doing it every week. I record every Monday, but I don't always get it out on Monday, especially with the really slow internet. Sometimes, one time, it took three freaking days to upload, and then I accidentally uploaded the unedited version, and I'm like, I don't even care. <laughs> so, um, yes. So, I'm getting videos out weekly. Um, I'm trying to get tutorials out weekly, but it's turning into more every other week for tutorials, but I am doing podcasts every Monday, but my mom started babysitting again on Mondays, like you probably heard earlier. Now they're outside, so hopefully you can't hear them. I can hear them, but I don't think you can hear them. Um, so I probably will start recording on Thursday because she's out of the house on Thursdays. Um, and my brother sleeps in to like 11. Um, but today he didn't. But anyway, so I'll probably start recording on Thursdays. So that's going to mess up. And I just started too. And it's like, if this is my fifth episode, it's only been five weeks. So it's like, here's a pattern. Just kidding. We're going to do something else. But I mean, it's not like you get them every Monday anyway, because it takes forever to upload. So I'll probably start recording on Thursdays. <coughs> At least my podcast. I probably won't have time to do tutorials and podcasts while she's gone. But anyway, so thank you for watching. Check out my the rest of my videos, and um, I will see you.